In Okinawa, there is a massive coral reef called Yaviji. This is one of the largest coral reefs in Japan. We would like to introduce you to the world of corals. Corals are an essential part of the ecosystem for many creatures on Earth. Like a field of blooming plants, this beautiful view has been attracting people for many years. Corals are not only beautiful, but they are an integral part of life in the ocean. The corals thrive in the sea through symbiotic relationships with many other organisms. One key relationship between corals and fish is that the fish eat and clean the algae on living and dead corals. Coral reef ecosystems are places where fish can hide from other predators. The existence of corals is an integral part of our planet Earth because the symbiotic relationship it has with zooxanthellae helps facilitate photosynthesis. The zooxanthellae absorb carbon dioxide and create oxygen in the ecosystem. This is a massive area of staghorn coral that is almost all dead. A substantial view of this area is not possible to film in one clip. In the majority of cases with this coral, they change from their normal color to a fluorescent color, then they bleach. This pattern indicates the death of the coral. There are various causes for damage to the coral. The incidence of damage to corals far exceeds the growth of healthy corals today. One day, you will see them vibrant, healthy, colorful condition, and the next day, they can suddenly turn white. There are still many fishes swimming around these bleached sea anemones, but if the sea anemone goes away, these fish too will disappear. Losing the sea anemone will mean the fish lose their homes, which shield them from other predators in the sea. Dead coral is not attractive to fish. This is a stark example that no fish come to the dead areas. This is a large canyon of dead table corals.
This is a hermatypic coral at a depth of about 10 meters. Even the corals that are not in shallow waters are getting damaged. Corals are stressed by various factors such as the high temperature of the seawater and the pollution in the sea. We must take care of the corals even while they are in good health. There are people who work to sustain coral life. They do this by monitoring their conditions with cameras. And there are people in the world who are working to restore the coral reefs. Many species of corals are set up in this unique garden nursery. They're cultivated and transplanted out onto the natural reefs nearby with hopes to regenerate the endangered ecosystems. For example, garbage drifts to various places from the beach and into our oceans. If you don't pick up the garbage on the beach or in your city, the garbage can enter the digestive systems of many whales, sea turtles, fish, all living organisms. These small microparticles will harm all these living creatures. One small action leads to the sustainability of many living creatures. Every little bit counts. and it becomes a massive support for the ocean. For those of us that don't live by the sea, we can still do something to help clean our ocean. Daily products that we use, like dish soap, shampoo, and sunscreen, there are a number of products that are biodegradable and eco-friendly. Sunscreen can be one of the ways that we can be conscious and keep toxins out of the oceans and off of our skin.